Hello. So there have been a few developments since I last talked about the Steam Summer Sale 2015, um, about roughly a day ago now. The Monster Game, basically it's just called the Monster Game, as you may remember. Now this game requires you to click monsters repeatedly, and it is very inefficient. So what happened was last time I just, or I sort of showed you guys how to run a auto clicker on it. But there is actually a more efficient way of auto playing the game and a very clever person on Reddit actually wrote some JavaScript that, that you can insert right into the game that allows you to play it without really playing it. Now let me let me just explain a little bit here. It is a script that reads things from the game's state and takes action for the player. Since it doesn't spam clicks and only does things a human player would do, it's not a cheat script. It tries to maximize your, the player's efficiency without you actually having to play. Now, the script I'm more interested in, because while there is that base script, is the one by, it's a fork by WChill on GitHub. And it does put an auto clicker into the game. And also, it, it sort of just builds on the original script that was first posted by Mouse a SW on Reddit. Now, what is really great about this script is um, basically right now I'm clicking 20 times per second. You can't see the damage that I'm doing right now because the the person who is behind writing the script had to disable artifacts to prevent. Basically, there was a memory leak in the game. And if you do not disable the artifacts, eventually, like roughly 30 to 45 minutes, depending upon whether you're running a 32 or 64 bit browser, roughly 30 to 45 minutes, it will freeze up and crash because there is just being too much memory is just being wasted or used up by this game. So it is important to use this newer version of the script if you're going to use an auto clicker. Now, how can you get the auto clicker? I mentioned it was on GitHub, and I will provide the link to the GitHub fork by W. Chill in the description below this video, and I'll also provide a link to the original Reddit post. So, you, just so you know that there is no wishy-washy stuff going on here, and I'm not trying to get you to, you know, basically run some JavaScript that could uh, circumvent your computer security. But how you install? this script let's say is um, you simply I'm just going to do a rough copy here. I'm just going to drag and select everything that is on this uh, github page it, it goes down for a little bit because there are some really cool functions and then just hit um, control C to copy it or you can right click and click copy then you go you launch the monster game hit F12 or whatever the key combination is in your browser for bringing up the JavaScript console. Basically, this is the developer's console. Then you hit Control V, and you can paste all that right into the console. Once it's pasted in, simply hit Enter, and the game should start playing by itself. You can test if it's playing by itself by attempting to switch lanes, like so. If it switches back right away, then you know that the script is actually being used. Now, one thing you might come into, you might notice that there is sort of a security measure to prevent you from pasting scripts into your browser like this. You might have to type a little something first before you can put the script in. If it doesn't, the script doesn't seem to work or the first time after typing in the sort of the unlock code, simply reload the page and try again. And the second time it should work. That's at least it did for me. So what exactly does a script do besides click on enemies very fast and change lanes? Well, it will also deploy the medics promotion if you've bought it, if your health drops below 50%. It will also deploy the good luck charm if you've got that whenever it's available. And there might be one, one other one or not, no. Those are the only ones I'm aware of. It doesn't upgrade anything, so you're still in charge of making sure that your character is upgraded in a 
responsible fashion, let's say. And also with the lane change, the reason for that is because you will get you only get gold from enemies that die in a lane that you are currently in. So this script it basically moves you around to, to where the enemies to where an enemy is that is nearest to dying. So that way you'll get gold you optimize the amount of gold you receive in every round. Now as you can see, I didn't get in right the game right away. Maybe it's ten minutes after the server sort of reset and everything. I'm currently on this is 13 hours in it and I'm currently on level 562 so if you get in right away there is a reddit steam group let me see if I can pull that up here we are the um, the monster summer game group check them out they will be doing more events where they'll all join a game together to sort of push for the the top score and they did so far today they beat out 4chan because 4chan also had sort of the same ambitions and they were competing against reddit the reddit steam group one last thing I would like to mention before finishing this video is that in the boss stages the best tactic is to deploy your metal detector on the boss itself do not use nukes or other damaging weapons on this. This only wastes the boss. There is really no better stage or better lane to play the metal detector perk on than the boss because the amount of gold you get is very, it's astronomical, really. You make millions most likely, especially in the later stages. So do not nuke the boss. Do not deploy tactical nukes against the boss. Do not play deploy cluster bombs or napalm or any 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 damaging perk do not use that against the bosses instead everybody should deploy their metal detector and then just click away and you'll make millions of gold and this is the most effective way or most efficient way to make a lot of gold very quickly in the steam monster game so I hope you found this video informative Thank you for watching.